Ron Howe, spring tips continued. It's spring. Anywhere across the country, there's a lot of late weather this year, but on a typical year, let's face it, somewhere between March and the beginning of June, it's spawn time, no matter where you're at in the country. And largemouth bass fishing, things kind of have a lot of standardization when it comes to that. Right now, you got Florida strains and northern strains bass that do act a little different. The northerns will bite better when it's cold, and the largemouth that are Florida strain can get really, really tricky. But what I want to show you here is a typical lake, and you can see behind me the layout, right? So back behind me right there see that green grass okay that's that means that out in the water there's also grass that's the areas the large mouth you're going to look for now that right there is like a little pocket and it leads out to that point right there so i started on that point worked my way down that bank kind of quick looking for shallow fish or any spawners in that little grassy pocket area nothing came over here now you can see that little sand area right out in front of that sand area there's grass but then there's a little sharp drop off right now this is leading to the cove they're going to spawn in right back there. They're going to spawn back there. But that cold front came through and it pulled those fish right back to this little spot right here where we have grass and it's a little deeper close to the bank. So they just stacked up right there. I pulled in there. I haven't been fishing long. I just stuck one about four and a half pounds. I went small. I went natural. I went green pumpkin melon because the water's crystal clear and I slowed way down and you would have thought it was a spot of bass. This lake is full of them. And I thought the way the fish bit, it was a spot. And all of a sudden, zoo, and I see it. I'm like, well, that's a good largemouth. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, it just goes to show you that in spring, if you follow the transitions of where they're coming and going, you'll find them. So this is where they would pre-stage. But if it gets cold and they were going up there, they'll pull right back out to it. Now I'm going to fish that area a little longer because they're usually grouped up. See if I can get another bite. But... You know, they're heading there in the spring, and you just start fishing everything on the way in. The point behind me, the pocket, the little bluff, and many times they'll stage on that bluff. And then when they're done spawning, they'll be on this bluff again. So back of pockets is where they're heading. Check the staging zones on the way to them, and you'll catch more bass this spring, next spring, and all the springs to follow. Ron Howe, RB Bass Outdoors with Spring Bass Fishing Tips. Thank you.